Jocko. Like yourself, I tend to have low opinions slash expectations of people. My question is, how do you act friendly with someone when you know they're trying to play passive aggressive power games with you? <laughs> say say you know a person and you know he's a snake, but social and work situations demands and expects that you act like their friend. How do you reconcile that within your mind? Is that or is that not being fake? I know you're gonna say play the game, but <laughs> but do I really have to play these snake games just to get ahead in the world? All right. So first of all, from the first part of that, this this blanket statement that I have a low opinion of people is actually factually not true. I I don't come out of the gate with a low opinion of people. That's actually mm. not true. I have high hopes for people that they're going to do well, but I don't have expectations that they're going to perform. There's a yeah. difference there, right? Mm-hmm. I don't view people in a low, my opinion of people is not low right. out of the gate, mm-hmm. but I don't layer heavy expectations on them because that's unfair. Right. So that's number one. Um, I set the bar low so people can pleasantly surprise me, but believe me, I don't have a low expectation or a low opinion of people. Now, the question, yes, you absolutely called it and what I was going to say. Play the game, right? Yeah, yes, that's what you're gonna do. Now, let me, let me put it this way. You got snakes, okay? If you don't learn to play with the snakes, you're never gonna get the anti-venom from their fangs, right? You're never gonna get them figured out. And if you don't figure out how to get the anti-venom, the snakes are always gonna own you. So you gotta learn how to deal with snakes. I had a kid when I was at Team 2, kid from Arkansas or something, and we were out in the hills somewhere and there was a rattlesnake. And he grabbed that thing like he was picking up a, like he was picking up a, 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 a pair of socks. Mm-hmm. It was like no factor. Boom, walked over, picked up the snake, whacked it against the tree. Mm-hmm. I said, okay, <laughs> this dude knows how to deal with snakes. Mm-hmm. And it's the same thing here. People are snakes, does that mean you just avoid them and you're not gonna play the game? And right. the worst thing, you know what you don't do with a snake? Is you don't walk over and get all like intimidate them and get in their face, and so it bites you, yep. and and poisons you, right? So, yes, you got to play the game. People like this exist, right? And and so let's say let's take a, a let's say you take the moral high ground, <laughs> and you refuse to work with and accept and be humane with these snakes. Okay, if that's what you do. Now, guess what? Now the snakes don't like you. Now they see you as a threat, and now they attack. And like I said, this is when they bite, and they poison, and they kill you, and what good are you now? You're dead. So you can't help anybody when you're dead. You can't achieve your goals. You can't help the team. You can't accomplish the mission because you are on the moral high ground. Now, let's say that you learn to play the game. You learn how to handle those snakes like that young boy from our from Arkansas. You learn their moves. You get the antidote. You get the anti-venom for their poison. And you actually, in this process, you become immune to their attacks. And you reach a point where they actually don't attack you because they're familiar with you. And they trust you. And when that happens, then you can overcome their weapons, you can rise up, you can get control of them, and you can utilize them for your own purpose, right? Now, if that purpose was something that was self-centered, or something that was for your own good and not for them, or not for the team, then it'd be a form of manipulation, and it'd be pretty negative. But if all you're doing is trying to get these snakes on board with the program to help the whole team win, we got no issue with that. We got no moral issue with that. I got no moral issue with me treating people nicely to try and get them on board with the program so that they can help our team win. I got no issue with that, Mm. moral or otherwise. So that's the answer, I think. You know, when the time is right, you you be nice to those snakes. When the time is right, you put that little stick with the noose around the end of it, you put it around (laughs) their head and 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 you collect their venom. And you can use snakes to do things like kill rats, right? Snakes can be used for some kind of good at some point. Now, I know it's hard, right? I know it's hard and 
is it being fake? Maybe it is. Maybe that is being fake. But you're doing it for the good of the team. So again, it's not for personal game. That's a huge difference. And also, if you think about this idea of being fake, if you would be nice to people to help the team win, then isn't that actually you? <laughs> right? <laughs> so how can you be fake by being you? Right? If my if what I do is, hey, I, I help people and I get in their head and I'll I'll be nice to them so we can win. Mm. If I do that, that's me. That's not being fake. That's actually what I do. Yeah. That's not being fake. So I think regardless, in the end, it is something you have to do. You do have to play the game. Um and that is how you're going to help your team win. And it's also, if you want to get those snakes to come over to the light and get away from the darkness, you're not going to do it by trying to kill them. All you're going to do is offend them and they're going to attack you. Like I said, if you show them a good example, if you're productive, and when you get all that stuff done and you accomplish your mission, and what you do is you say, hey, it wasn't me that accomplished the mission. It was the snakes. They did it. <laughs> you know what? Those snakes start to stand upright. They start to de defang themselves, and they start to realize that maybe they can do some good out there too. I like the snake analogy. Hey, he That's started good. it. <laughs> yeah. That um. Oh, commentary. Like <laughs> Go. No, 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 no. What you're saying? You know how you slowly build that relationship, or whatever. Yeah. That part's hard because it takes like time. It, it takes, takes time, but harder than time is it takes the stomach. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah you, exactly. You, you got the guy that you know is a slimy guy that's just looking out for himself. And you got to go, hey, man, what's going on? Yeah. Hey, Bill, what's happening? Yep. Good to see you. Yeah. Hey, the, yeah, no. Good. Yeah. Didn't I, I had a great weekend. Thank you. Yeah. How yeah. was your weekend? Yeah. You know, so you're in that mode and you got to gut through that yep. because you know you're a good person. Right. Right. <laughs> I think. <laughs> right. Right. I think. Yeah, especially passive aggressive. Like that can be tough because a lot of times it's way easier if I'm like if I if I l launch a yeah. confrontation against you, right, it's way right. easier mentally to be like, okay, we're in a little battle right mm -hmm. now. It's easy. But if I just do like one little dig and then kind of walk away or something like that, it's like, oh man, that can be way more like trying on your mind, on your patience, yeah. you know. And then when you f when you battle through that, right, or the idea of I gotta battle through this. Okay, this is gonna be hard. Just you know, mentally, whatever. I gotta battle through that. Oh, but guess what? You gotta do that for a long time. That one yes. time that that yes. you think that was hard. All right. Well, you gotta keep on doing it's that. It's a continual seething evolution. Yeah, that that's happens what makes over and over again. It does make it challenging. But I think if you just know this, if you know, if you can see the light, at you know the what end you can do tone? too. And I hate to use this word because it seems to be a trendy word right now. You gotta gamify it a little bit. You know, when somebody does something passive aggressive to me, I'm yeah, like, oh, score, I'm gonna have fun with this. Yeah. Hey, you're right, that was a really good job that your team did over there. You know, yeah. when they say something, a little dig at me, mm -hmm. so, yeah, I think you guys did fantastic. I didn't foresee that at all. Yeah, You're, you, you're crushing it. Just, a little, yeah. I, I say, oh, oh, that hurt, but guess what? I'm gonna win in the long run. Yeah. I just won a little battle against you. Yeah. And you know, don't let these little things, don't let the little things bother you. <laughs> I Man, know, think man. about the big stuff. I you got know, big man. stuff to worry about out there. Man. You can't let the little things bother you. And are you on the right path? If you're trying to do the right thing for the right reasons, man, it's all good. It doesn't matter what else is going yeah. on. I'm good with it. And that's it. And Deal that's what I mean by, the, by kind of the light at the end of the tunnel. Like, you, you know, like, you know, that's where I'm going. This is just part of the thing. You know, I see the whole path kind yes. of thing. And it just makes it easier when you kind of know that. But <laughs> when you're at that time, fast and aggressive is the worst, man. The kind where I see, see, you talk about passive aggressive being the worst. I don't, I, this is not like this thing that bothers me. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't, it's never been a big issue for me. When yeah. somebody's passive aggressive with me, I just, okay, cool. I yeah. see the game we're in. I'm going to play yeah. it. I'll see, play that game. I'm see, good with it. Man, see, if you can just look Rock at it like roll. that and look at it like that, yeah, man, it, it'd make it, it would almost make it the opposite situation. Like it, it would almost I, be I pleasurable. I think it does because I don't. I've never had a big issue with some guy that's being passive. I've never had that. Yeah. I'm like, oh, cool. Oh, I see what's a little shot right there. You know what? Come throw some credit at him. Come flank him. Yeah. They're going to be good. Not yeah. worried about that person. That person's not really secure in the first place. Right. And they're sort of one of these slimy snakes, right? That are yeah. trying to make things happen. That's okay. I'll just, just help them. Help them out. You know what? You're trying to be passive aggressive, but bring you out in the open. Bring you out in the clear. Not in, not in an offensive way. Right. But you know what? I think you're right about that. Yep. I think you could do a better job here. Come on and help my team or whatever. Yeah. 
Because when they're doing that, what are they attacking? Your ego. You're, they're attacking your ego. Yeah. So if you just get over that thing and just say, you know what? No big deal. Yeah. That's good. Oh, I see what's going on here. Let's bring it out in the open. Yeah, bring it out yeah. in the open. Expose the ambush and just say, hey, buddy. Yo, oh, yeah. We're good. Let's start. Let's let's move forward together as a team. How, how's that sound? I'm, yeah. I'm down. Dang. Hard yeah, one to I contend with it, it for is, Echo man. Charles. It, oh, you know what? And I'm thinking about this. I'm like, yeah, that sounds so easy. But you know what? I realized it's one like I care about the person and they'd be passive aggressive. Like, or if I care about like their uh, opinion or something like that. Did I say like that you had to offend them? No. No, 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 no. It's not, not in that way. Not in the way where like I might offend them, but like if like you care about what they think, you know? Okay. And they're like, what's wrong with that? I guess nothing. There's nothing. But I guess the, maybe that's where my sensitivity to it is. I mean, coworkers, maybe in a, I haven't had coworkers in a long time. Well, I guess you're a coworker, but. <laughs> You're not passive aggressive, but nonetheless, I'm just I can straight see aggressive. <laughs> you're more <laughs> aggressive. Not pass- maybe it would be in a situation like maybe a coworker situation would be the kind of situation that I'm like thinking about where people will be more sensitive than it's. You just know what? Person. Actually, the other day you and I had a conversation. You might have been being passive aggressive. No, maybe <laughs> you. We were we were trying to do yeah, something, right. and you said, "Hey, you know, I'm just not sure if this is like really something we should do." And I was like, "Cool, don't do it." <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, okay, okay. That wasn't passive. It's passive aggressive. That was like um, it was different. It's like trading lightly. You know, oh, sugar okay. cook, you okay. know, like it, it wasn't necessarily tr- straight dope. Um, yeah. You gave me a little bit of a indication. Yeah, I like said, understanding. You know, I said, oh, there's something going on. Some kind of ambush here. I said, okay, come on out. Yeah. We're good. Let's bring it out in the open because I'm good. <laughs> no, it's not that. Im- it's like, you know, yeah. I respect your opinion. Let's go with it. No yeah. factor. Make no. that happen. That was good. That's how I roll. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the passive aggressive is, is the kind where, um, like, you know, if if I'm mad at you for something, mm-hmm. and then I'm like, nope, all good. But meanwhile, my body language is saying, yeah, you know, it's like that kind. Of is stuff. that even passive aggressive? Yeah, that really? is what passive aggressive is. It's like it's like, like, oh, it's all good. But then like little digs yeah. are indicating other stuff. It's like this yeah. weird thing. It's yeah, it's super say, whack. Want, yeah. Like I said, when I when someone's being that with me, I'm gonna bring them all the way. Yeah, up. I'm gonna bring them from good. passive to just straight aggressive, yeah. so that we can get through it. Because I'm not going to get. That's the thing. If we're on a team, why are we going against each other? Yeah. What's probably at, at the root there is just ego yeah. situation. Yeah. yeah you're if right. you can put that to rest, you're good. Hard though. Hard to put that ego in check for all of us. Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, coworkers are your peers. So, you know, it's natural to kind of care what they think, even if you don't like them. You know, it's just, I think it's just natural. Yeah, of course. People want to do a good job and yeah. and want other people to think that they're doing a good job. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. So when they start throwing jabs, it's okay. Yeah. You know what? Why are they throwing a jab? Maybe you're not doing as good of a job as you thought you were. And now it's taking a little shot to your ego. So let's address it. Let's figure out what the issue is. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. This is like jujitsu. Yeah. I've done this move. <laughs> I've seen this move before. <laughs> Rock and roll. <laughs>